What's up guys, this is the Roferman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total my, my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off what happened last time, we successfully cleaned up the uh, the Dutch army that was hanging around Copenhagen, and then we also freed up both of my ports in England, um, allowing me to get my trade trade flowing again, and also capturing a French 122-gun ship of the line, which is just beautiful. But I think the job now is to pretty much end turn. But I think I might quit because I've got a bit a bit more cash. See if there's anything I can do in terms of fixing ships. No, there is not. Uh, okay, I want to get some this line infantry over to Copenhagen, and I'm probably going to want to put if I'm going to use if I'm going to use these for anything, I may as well put a fencible in the harbour and keep hold of the rest of them while uh, the resistance to foreign occupation goes down. Cool. Research and tech is doing going well. Got our objectives, um, which I, I'm not going to, you know, weld myself to. And I want to send Arthur Wellesley down to the south to hold on to the, the bridge to prevent the... Um, the French from coming into my lands and I've also made an alliance with the Prussians so hopefully we shouldn't get completely stomped by the French at least that's the plan um, but while I've got this I also want to send an army to go up to Norway to finish off the Kingdom of Denmark so that will be where so I want to get this age embark the agent no way, I don't want to embark the agent. I've been stupid. Because I've got a university here. For some reason I just thought for some reason I thought my name my um in my research was just in was just in London. Um in which case let's bring the merchantman over. Let's bring my fleet of frigates. Down here. Actually, wait here. Ship Nelson over to. What's in Bristol? Ooh, merchantman. Keep building. Keep building the odd merchant. Um, but I basically want to put him here. Oh no! Come out. Ah, oh, you're all okay. So let's take my battle fleet, new harbour in Bristol. So then let's take this foot infantry, embark it onto the transport fleet, embark my uh, spy, and you can't make it, so you're, you're going to wait there for now. Um, but I want to sail them over. And transport my transfer my troops over. I could do a bit of recruitment, but ultimately, what I really, really want is a second battle fleet. Because right now, I've got Nelson running around doing damage control on everything, and I've got no HMS Hibernia. 106 gun ship of the line. Hmm. What's my next fleet? Steam dried up. That gets me the, the biggest beasties and. Ironclads. How many guns? 80 guns. Steam paddle frigates. Steamships. Carronade frigates. So we're building about 96 guns second rate. Let's build 106 gun first rate. Elephants a third rate. Yep. Let's get HMS Hibernia. It's going to take a while though. Start Swiss Grenadiers, Royal British Fusiliers. They're expensive. So, well, the regular line's 821. British Dutch line infantry is 767, so I assume it's slightly worse. Let's 
Yeah, the accuracy is worse. The loading, the accuracy is worse. The reloading skills worse. They're a bit so they're a bit worse at shooting, but a bit better at uh, combat. I think I want to get a King's German Legion unit. Yeah, but place him down here. Yeah, there's an army sat there waiting for me in Hanover. But I don't want to attack, I just want to defend. Don't want a general. Let's see, waste me money. Cool. I ah, still so got some merchants. Or is that all of them? I built a commercial pool in Liverpool to earn me money. Cool. Next time I get 9,600. I, I need to just import more stuff. I need to expand my... Expand my... Um, my, my uh, uh, expand my efforts southwards. So what I might do is the army that I've got, the navy that I've got, sorry, that's all frigates, is break them up and just effectively sit a frigate in every port, in fr every French port on the Atlantic coast, so they can't generate these one ship, you know, these like these indip individual frigates that can actually screw my plans so much. Because they are a real pain. So let's do... Okay, so that's land drainage researched. I can't get on to the next one because I don't think I've got because I haven't got a factory. So public schooling increases. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty good one to have in general, I think. That only takes three. So what I might do is take well, take this navy, disembark. Take one of my frigates and drop it in Le Havre. Take one of my frigates, drop it in, or drop it off of, just off of Brest to see if they are actually doing anything. They are. Just sit it in there. Take this other frigate, sail it down to Nantes, or Nantes, Nantes. Not recruiting anything, but they've got money. So do I pirate it? 95. It's worth 95 for me. And they'd still get the rest of it. So I don't think there's any point in me raiding it. Oh, second rate Kent. You you belong with Nelson. Oh, wait, you've just been built, haven't you? You have just been built. So come back. No, wait. That's my fencible. Navy, where are you, Kent? We can stay there for now, but I know you're part of a second fleet. Okay, now... Now let's embark them. Sail them into Alborg. Let's just send my spy to run around up there. Disembark my line, three regiments of foot. Run them down to Copenhagen. Then my ship, my ships can stay there for now because they can't really go anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna want a supply warehouse. Plus 14 to my replenishment rate, which, you know, if we have a big battle with the French, that's what I'll be definitely needing. So I built walls in Copenhagen. Could build an ordnance factory, but I don't really want to at the minute. So what's making the most money? Cotton and tobacco joint. So tobacco... 71 cotton, 122 cotton. Let's balance it out. Let's pick you. Then let's put Nelson to sea. Then I want to send him south, really, and start to. 
basically want to start basically if I can block this up then any French port ships built in the south coast can't inf influence me either right now I'm blockading everything that can be blockaded this isn't built so I don't need to worry about it great arsenal yep I know um, let's build a factory just so I can start to get to the next tier of industrial tech Build a merchantman. Let's build a merchantman. What's the difference between Indian and merchantman? Indian are a bit armed merchant ship. Hmm. Maybe let's start stacking in some Indian and start giving my guys a bit of punch. And then let's put a fencibles in Portsmouth to protect that from attack. Cool. So how's the growth of London doing? 67 a turn, that's good. Um, yeah, population growth is a bit slow. But 67 gold is not bad. Trade route raided. Yeah, but that's, that's me, wasn't it? Two grain minister. Plus one management of treasury. Minus one. Make sure everyone's... Well, the army's a bit naff. So are you. Minus two recruitment. It's not bad, but it's not brilliant either. Furs are also worth. The furs are currently where the money is now. Let's end turn. To be honest, I might end up having to uh, start just start to move against the French. I don't know how long I can sit here just, you know, playing the economy game. I'd like... I'd, oh, I'd really like to send Wellesley down to Gibraltar and engage the Spanish and conquer Spain. Another gentleman in Denmark... In fact, that might be what I might do. If I recruit an army, a reasonably sized army, to take out Norway, I'll bring them back to Copenhagen, and then they'll, that'll be my defensive force for Copenhagen, and I can withdraw Wellesley and send him down to knock out Spain. Take Gibraltar, Quantum Madrid, Pamplona, Barcelona, maybe send a force to take Palma, and then knock them out. Seems like it could be quite a good idea. So it is... Yeah, Furs are still top dog. So, right of the north. Ten thousand thirty seven pounds that becomes fifty four pelts. Good. In fact, I just might, that's, that might be exactly what, it, well, no, I know, I said I was going to wait. I was going to wait, and I was going to, oh, and I've already stolen that second rate that I was recruiting here. First rate, Hibernia. Second, second, third. It's going to take a few turns. All my objectives... God, I, I, I'm probably not going to capture. I'm not probably not going to do that by late December 2012 because I've really oh, we're halfway through the halfway through the time limit already. Ish. Can't remember when we started. Well, and what? I have to move on Hanover then. Seeks an empire. You can just take as much time as you need. So let's get Michael Stoll, the King's German Legion. 
Let's recruit a unit, of, two units of artillery. Well, actually, I might go for more line infantry. I can go for one. British Dutch like dragoons. Infiltrate. Good, and turn. Unless I do sail them and just take Brit Brittany and go take Cannes and threaten Paris and do it that way. Maybe maybe my strategy in this game just takes too long. It's entirely possible. So how about that? I'll go capture Denmark, knock them out of the game, then go land in Normandy. And then push on and take Caen. Because the, Russian, the French are pushing eastwards, so... Army core organization, good. Knocks down my recruitment a bit. Let's do. Let's do logistics. Come on, you get out there and have a look. The closer you get. The more realistic my requirements for an army are. No oh, wait, that's King's German Legion. Let's get two units of light foot and a couple of units of light foot. Let's fill it out with the light foot. Sweet. Might end up. So, well, to be honest, I really want to stop spending my money on naval ships and things like that. You can really start to... Okay, let's get back to merchantmen. Is it still furs? Nope, nope. cotton now. Oh, I should have got sent them down south. But anyway, this takes, this takes a John Moore. Let's get him to start recruiting. King's German Legion Light Dragoons. No, actually, let's start with a core of infantry that's semi cheap. Well, can't even get semi cheap infantry. Let's get two units of Highlanders. They at least mix it up a bit. Sweet. In turn. Yeah, they finally pushed me out. <laughs> so this would be the Batavian Empire might go clean up some of my ships because they're just sat there currently bobbing around in the open, not really doing anything. Well, they're bobbing in the med, not not doing anything. They're in the way. It's the Russian Empire. Sneaky, sneaky. To be honest, if this campaign ends up, you know, me taking too long, that's fair enough because this would be. Well, for me, it'd be fair enough. This is my first actual campaign playing Napoleon to a war, and I've kind of shot quite big. God, Denmark loves recruiting gentlemen. No, don't bother doing diamond formation, or fire in advance, or carronade. Okay. Joint stock company. Join stock company, you'll hop on and do steam engine. She might do that. It feels like what makes sense is to research the, research the technology first that can make you build the next building. Because by the time you've built this, you'll have researched one or two of these anyway. Good, so my Highlander foot are on their way. Let's get a couple more Highland foot. Let's get some. Okay, so what have you got? What artillery have you got? Because that was pretty handy. Yeah, just regular foot artillery. Moves quite fast. Two units of that. Let's get some foot artillery. Let's get just a bunch of regular line. Start building up an army. Schooling, yep. 
Probably going to be tobacco. Yeah, it's going to be tobacco. Well, tobacco and cotton still. So let's send you there. Another third rate. And then over here. Oh, wait, you're already. Okay, let's get my spy up there and have a look. Yeah, it's pretty. Well, actually, get them inside. Infiltrate. Ah, oh, nuts, they saw me. Um, lots of line, lots of militia, so I'm probably going to want a good amount of artillery. Actually, if we do it from this screen, you'll automatically head over. Good. So you to blockade the port. Wait a minute. Beaumarchais. It's Apu de Beaumarchais. Because there's nothing... I mean, I can... Raid the port, maybe? To be honest, they may as well just stay down here. Because they'll at least, you know, head off any attempts of the French to break out. I mean, I know I'm at war with Denmark here, but... They don't have a port to, <laughs> to trade to. What's this? Yeah, it's a dockyard. Got the Berg College. Hmm. Right, see turn again. Oh yeah, my Highlanders are coming down. With the benefit of the metal roads, the asphalt roads they've got in England. See, they're not going to push me out. I know what I might do. Well, they have sent me, push me out now. I might drop... So take John, capture Denmark, bring him down to where Wellesley is to guard the approach from the south and maybe recruit a small garrison for Copenhagen. Send Arthur Wellesley down to Gibraltar and then send uh, Sir John Moore off to Reign and just send him just to go in and start raiding French provinces. Could be an idea. So let's get your Highlanders in. Let's get your foot in. Who are you? Two more Highlanders. Let's get some oh, King's German Legion Dragoons. They, they, they look beautiful. So let's get some of them and then get two Scottish Highland Light Infantry. Then probably back it up with King two King German Legion. Cool! Hell, recruit a regular foot unit as well. No, do not want a foot unit or do I want another Highlander unit? You're damn right I want another Highlander unit. Ah, Scotland's now got metal roads. Court of Justice. Fifteen percent bonus to tax rate, good. So we may as well to be honest, I may as well just send these off to each to you know, just all of them. Well, to be honest, I might go down and take this one too. So if I send you there. So bring them back. Spoon my merchantman down there too. Because the only hostile port that I have to worry about is here. In La Corona. Which is not recruiting anything, but that way I can secure this trade zone as well. And effectively start to send more of my trade ships down here. Because I've got Nelson blocking after the Gibraltar Straits. I've got a new fleet being built here in Portsmouth. Which can I enlist an admiral? Oh, oh god, we get Thomas Hardy, John Jervis, Thomas Cochran, that's great. And was definitely gonna be Hardy. Okay. So you're going, you're going, you're going. Tech's still going. Okay. Let's 
He's still recruiting unit of artillery. Let's get another unit of infantry. I'd like it to be a full army based on what I'm going to do with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep, the French Empire are up to something. They finally caught on that they can't... Ah, oh, they want to upgrade their dockyards. That's what it is. Well, just keep blockading them. So not much is... Not a whole lot's really happened in this part. Um, which is which is unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes it's because I'm not... Oh, Denmark. Are oh, they going to take my ships? Royal Johnson, 24 gun frigate, brig, merchantman. Feel free to capture them, Denmark. I will just capture them back. These merchantmen. Well, yeah, they are just merchantmen. They're not. Hey, they lost one. <laughs> oh, they're going to go hit my frigate. But we made it. Well, I'm going to go send a successful mission. Of course, it was a successful mission. Let's recruit... Uh, oh, why did it take so many turns to build units? Not you. Let's get... King's General Legion Light Cavalry. Two turns, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Magistrates. So they are recruiting a ship now. So I've got to be aware. Start spinning out some fourth rates. 1400, 2100. This is my Scottish Light Infantry. Scottish Light Infantry plus Highlanders. It's my artillery and my infantry. King's German Legion. Beautiful. Yeah, blockading, blockading, blockading. Calm. So who's in command of this army? Lots of fusiliers. Guard the Paris. He looks very tubby. Because it looks like his uh, his image has been squashed. Okay, but we'll need to get. We we'll need to get a ship from over here. Probably with one of these frigates. Over here transport my army across rather than uh, depending on Sweden well rather than marching through Sweden because then it'll at least be done in one turn oh they got one foot artillery but it's loads of infantry so Sunday arm and a Michael Stoll while green will be much more capable but it's still two turns away um, sadly good the French are marching away so this is making me uh, well I was about to say that stack is making me more tempted to hit Khan rather than Ren or Reen Ren um, but they very 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 helpfully marched away which is rather pleasant but yeah uh, just saying I, I'm sorry there hasn't been a major action this turn um, but I think you'll agree I've now got three full stack armies nearing completion and I'm definitely intending on using them in a demanding and devastating way and oh, I forgot about that Danny Danish fleet so they're just going to come back <laughs> you're more than welcome to Denmark I just don't want to move Nelson okay so I've got lots of mediocre ministers which has impacted my economy quite a lot oh and I'm also recruiting the hell out of things so let's try to get rid of Donald Wood good Declan Whittingham, which is already reduced, well, it's actually reduced my income somehow. Like, he's got more skill. Recruitment costs went down. 
land research rate went up and upkeep went down and yet my my revenue went down how the hell does that make sense put him off of breast again because is it garrisoned no but they're not recruiting either so let's just burn it again start just recruiting Indiamen. They're more expensive, but they're a bit hardier. We go see this army under John Moore is ready. So I'm going to want to take ooh, you, George Elphiston, under my next battle fleet. Or well, the start of my next battle fleet, anyway. So let's take my Fencibles out. Let's put John... Ah, oh, John Moore can't get in there. Next turn. Sigh. But next turn, he'll be ready. Next turn, Michael Stoll will be ready, I think. Yep. Uh, do I build an ordnance factory there? Why not? Actually, what's his infrastructure like? Yes, yeah, I could get metal roads. Hit end turn. Or do I land my two armies together nearby so they can support each other? So do I land them both in Spain or do I land them both in France? I'm going to go for a green. What's my phone going off? It's my iPad going off, sorry. I can go to Ren and... I can go to Ren and capture that quite easily. And also get 2,000 for it, which is quite nice. Spend that in on turn that into merchantmen or Indiamen. But I'm really going to have to uh, increase my rate of capture. But I think that's a, it's a thing with these games. The faster you grow, the faster you get armies and so on. Mass mobilization, so then I can go on and build the drill school. They can give me riflemen. Um, don't need to. What's the green museum get me? Plus 16, plus four happiness. Don't need to worry about that till I get dialectics. No one's built. Well, I haven't. I'm building courts of justice to increase my rate of research. Okay, so let's dump. Send you back here. Because I'm going to send you over here to just smash them up. I'll take your merchantmen. I will sit your merchantmen on the ivory node, and then I'll send my trade ship. They may as well raid it, I suppose. Earn a few quid. I want to send one down to there, one down to here, and then just keep... See, now I've got a lot of trade regions. Let's mix in just some cheaper merchantmen as well. Yeah, Wales well, has got a factory. Okay, so let's get John. Mm. To be honest, I think I need. I just need to start P Percival Trotter. It's old Percy Trotter. Um, yes, I want to send John Moore. Get him embarked. And then deploy him off of the coast. Bring my navy back. Back. Let's get them equipped. So let's recruit a unit of foot just to act as a bit of a bit of a garrison. Send them out to capture, capture Norway. Bring him back. And he can guard Copenhagen. If the Swedes go for Norway, that's fine. I'd rather be able to punch in land and do some crazy stuff across the strait. Then I'll bring Wellesley back and do some... Get up some monkey business down at Gibraltar. Trade route raided, that's me. And city gained. Uh, minus... Minus 10% to... Oh, wait. 
Minus 10% to ship repair rate. The man who keeps ship afloat rarely wants for friends at sea. So it means it means he repairs faster, but that to me says the rate at which he repairs has been decreased. And I get what they're saying is that they he builds ships faster, or that way you know, the guts of it is he builds ships faster, but to me that says it's it slowed down his rate, but whatever. Oh wait, I brought him back. Off you go, lad. Three frigate. Can you not Yeah, say so get into Normandy? Good. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. Really sorry there hasn't been much action in this part, but it's been kind of more of a foundation part. I'm getting the wheels turning um, in a big way. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.